everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lulu Joelle, all things dyslexic and creative. And today I'm going to talk about one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Can you guess? Pablo Picasso. And how is dyslexia? has shaped his life and work. Dyslexia is a learning difference that affects how people process written and spoken language. It can make spelling and speaking challenging, but it can also give rise to unique strengths and abilities. Picasso was one of the many famous people who had dyslexia, and he used it as a source of inspiration and creativity. Picasso was born in Spain in 1881 and showed an early talent for drawing and painting. He moved to Paris in 1904 and became part of the avant-garde movement. That revolutionized art. He experimented with different styles and techniques such as cubism and surrealism, collage and sculpture. He was also a prolific artist who produced over 50,000 works in his lifetime. But Picasso also struggled with his dyslexia. Throughout his life, he had a difficulty reading and writing, especially in French, which was not his native language. He often misspelt words and wrote them backwards. He also had trouble with maths and numbers. He once said, I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. However, Picasso did not let his dyslexia stop him from pursuing his passion. He used his dyslexia as a way of seeing the world differently. He expressed himself creatively. He said, When I was a child, my mother said to me, You become a you will be a general. You become a monk, you will be a pope. Instead, I became a painter and wound up as Picasso. Picasso's dyslexia also influenced his artistic style and vision. He was able to see shapes and colors, patterns and perspectives that others might miss. He was able to break down complex images simple geometric shapes and resemble them in new ways. He was able to create abstract representations of reality that challenge conventional notions of beauty and meaning. He was able to transform his challenges into opportunities. He once said, when I was a child, I could draw like Raphael. But it took me a lifetime to learn to draw like Picasso's dyslexia helped him create his own unique style of art that revolutionized the world of culture and aesthetics. He was a true genius who showed us that dyslexia is not a disability, but a gift. Dyslexia can make some things harder and also make some things easier. Dyslexia can foster imagination innovation, originality, resilience. Dyslexia can be a source of power and potential. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Picasso and dyslexia. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you have dyslexia or know someone who does, Please share your thoughts and experience in comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.